Hey, 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 hey guys, Andy here from Andy's Astro. Sitting out here in the beautiful country and it's a glorious clear night as you can see. And tonight we're gonna to take a, uh, a few photos to uh, finish off a project I've been working on for a while. And it uh, should be quite an exciting uh, image when we're done. Thought I'd give you a quick tour of, uh, of the gear because it's had a few updates and uh, looks pretty cool now. So um, we'll just walk over here a little bit to the big tack. So this is the uh, TAC TOA 130, uh, focal length is uh, 1000 millimeters, but we've got this reducer on it. That's the reducer down here. And the reducer brings it back uh, to 700 millimeters in focal length, and it speeds up the uh, F ratio from F7.7 .7 to F5.6, which is great. It means we get the data down a little bit faster. You might notice this red thing here, that's new. That's from Mr. Moonlight. So that's a Moonlight focuser and rotator and what's really cool about that is that um, I can image several targets in one night and I'm not stuck at the same uh, angle of view I can change them to suit the target each time and that's a great piece of kit thanks Ron and the team it works really really well and delighted to have that uh, to work back a little bit further there's the um, guide camera and of course the big mighty Attic APX60 camera. Thanks to the gang from Attic, this, uh, this beast is uh, pretty fantastic. It's full frame camera. CMOS, of course, uh, 61 megapixels. Holy smoke, it pumps out big files, I can tell you. Uh, and the clarity on this thing is pretty darn awesome. Had a few little teething issues with it, getting the, uh, the filters and so forth, because with this giant chip uh, and my two inch mounted filters, we had a bit of vignetting. Uh, thanks to the wonderful team at Chroma, who I bought these filters from three years ago, they were kind enough to replace them with unmounted filters, which are just that little bit wider, uh, which removed most of the, uh, almost all of the vignetting problems that I was having. And I can't believe that amazing customer service. So thanks to the team at Chroma, you guys rock. Um, so what's happened now is um, you can see on the back of the attic there, there was a, uh, a bit of a built-in clever system for adjusting tilt. Uh, unfortunately, I had to remove that because of the spacing issues that we had um, and the vignetting. So uh, it was a clever idea and it probably would have worked really well, but uh, I would have needed a, a different filter wheel and slightly uh, bigger filters to make that work properly. So we've replaced it with a, a large um, off-axis guider here. That's a ZWO product. And uh, it's got a built-in tilt adjustment on the front of it. So we can make minor adjustments to tilt there now. And that's great because the biggest thing, of course, when you've got a full frame camera is there's a lot more surface area there, which can, of course, just slightly divert from where you want it to be. And you can get slightly oblong corners, oblong stars in one corner. And of course, with the uh, these tilt adjustments, uh, we can make them on the fly now. Um, so it's it's been good. So we've finally dialed all of that out working really well. The blue gadget up here, that's the Pegasus power box. Basically, uh, once the power goes in, that distributes it wherever it needs to go to the, uh, to the focuser rotator or the camera or the, uh, the guider or um, um, the dew heaters. There's two of them because we've got one on the objective up there and we've got another one down here to keep the, the camera happy because we found that that was uh, sensitive to, um, to dew as well. But now it's all, uh, all hunky-dory. It's all sitting on this funky Ioptron mount. That's the Ioptron CEM70G, G for guider. So it's got a built-in guide scope. Don't actually use it at the moment, uh, but I have used it and tested it previously and it works really, really well. Surprising actually, because it's such a short focal length. Um, look, it's been many years to get all this kit together, working and working reliably, which it now does. And it's pretty damn fantastic actually. I can kind of set the thing up day to day or night to night and uh, you know, now it just works. It's all uh, driven by Voyager, which is a program running on this little NUC down here. NUC being a little headless Windows computer. It took me a while to get my head around that and I had to thank my buddy Paul for uh, a lot of help to understand the intricacies of Voyager because it's quite a program that uh, does well. It does everything, it's reliable, it's solid, it's fantastic software. It just takes a little while for people like me who are formerly Mac users to get your head around it. But that's the, uh, that's the kit now, folks. As you can see, all set up here in the country and hopefully we'll get some good images with it tonight. All right, that's the tour. Signing off. Take it easy. Cheers.